Hello everybody, this is Ryan again, and we are back for Let's Play Death May Cry. Mission 20 has a very fitting name. It's quite a showdown of Nightmare indeed. Even though the fight with Nightmare itself is not much different from before, Nightmare got a couple of tricks up its sleeves, namely the final core. Yeah, the final core. A reason this mission is known for being a nightmare to special bonus runners, pun intended. As you can see, the final core is uh, the most hectic fight in the series, I think. Things are really thrown at you non-stop, and it's really easy to get hit. And on DMD, you're gonna deal with it for a longer time, because the boss has got more health. So yeah, getting through that without any hit is really something. But we are in normal mode this time, let's see what we can do. For a special bonus, you also should watch out for orbs. To meet the quota, you should really kill these guys here. You gotta love rolling blades against frost. And this is a reason I enjoy playing with 3D rolls. Oh, you. If you paid attention, I could just input a second Kick 13 auto combo before my DT would run dry. As soon as I input it, my DT runs dry, and pretty much every hit helps me recover my DT, getting me almost a full refill. So I am almost DT full of the time against Frost. To get more orbs to meet the quota in this mission, you really should get down here as well. We're gonna get orbs from the shadow version of some boss down here, because these stupid sargassos are so useless they can even provide us with good orbs. I, I really dislike the sargassos, they are a cool concept of enemy, but it doesn't feel like we accomplish something when we defeat them. And here we are, Milo Angelo. I'm sorry, my fingers just move on its own, and I finish him off by slash canceling him to death. If there's so many SB 3D runes, DMD runs, I could not waste a single second, so I just slash cancel it to death. It was the quickest way. So I just do it even on normal world. Anyway, as I said, the battle here is pretty much the same. Only the camera here can be quite your enemy. But the camera is switched around on, in only two spots. So if you get used to it and know where these spots are, it's not all that bad. Okay, here goes nothing. Come on, come on! Yes! Cutscene skip! Whew! Finally! A deserved special bonus! It's been a while I don't get a deserved one. Ranking bonus, boss bonus, and special bonus! Hooray! Finally a deserved one! Yeah, as you could see, the final core could be really hectic, and planning on the positioning of Nightmare and Dante's is part of the strategy, as a matter of fact. So if you're going for a special bonus in this mission, you're gonna have to retry many many times until you get the feeling of that part, because it's hard to explain, really. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope it was useful, it provides some strategy if you ever plan on doing something of the type. 
and until the next mission see ya